Hey guys, I'm Berika. Welcome to my channel. Today we'll create the scene and how to bring things into life. And let's start our lesson. First of all, let's go to Solaris and uh, add component builder. Time inside, add file node and import our 3D assets. It's very big right now, let's scale down a lot. Create a uh, match size node and create a name attribute because name attribute is very important. Let's name it correctly. Let's subdivide two times because it's low res geo and we need to connect subdivide default uh, because default is a high res geometry and proxy is a low res geometry and we don't need simulation proxy let's add polar reduce and reduce our uh, geometry a lot and connect proxy and uh, let's name it correctly our asset and copy and paste and dive inside and replace our model to other models principle is absolutely same uh, beside uh, we need to uh, name correctly these uh, assets uh, and that's it we we need the correct name also here and let's copy and uh, paste one more time go inside and replace our geometry other to other geometry it's a little small I think Okay, it's this size is a good match size and we need correct name attribute in these assets. We don't need subdivide because it's already subdivided a lot. And this is a uh, absolutely same technique. Mm, let's uh, name it correctly. Okay. And let's add um, let's add component geometry variant. This is our merge for component builder our uh, geometry variant. Uh, let's organize a, a little, and uh, we 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 don't need material here. We need, uh, for example, we need here. Uh, let's copy and paste our name attribute and name it correctly. Our material system add material X, uh, material X, and also name it correctly. Mm, and uh, we need to create uh, MTLX image and import our albedo material and connect base color uh, copy and paste and uh, create uh, metalness metalness is a float and cr and connect to metalness slot and create uh, roughness map import a, import the roughness map roughness is also float and connect to specular roughness we need normal also and mtlx normal map connect here and connect to uh, geometry normal and we have geometry with some um, materials and let's go to xpu and tested our renders renders I think it's uh, working perfectly. Our normal map is perf working perfectly also. Uh, let's uh, copy and paste our material system. Uh, and uh, the principle is absolutely the same, but we need the correct material name. Copy and paste here. go inside go inside and um, uh, ch uh, change our our uh, albedo uh, correct albedo I don't, I think we don't need metalness map uh, this is a metalness map and yes we can uh, we must change of course roughness and our normal correctly this is fpx model guys and we need to copy and paste one more time and the uh, process will be absolutely same
eight export variants come here uh, and uh, set uh, export variants and see our assets all three assets is here with materials and everything okay we can use also set variants and see our model individually we can choose our uh, model and this name automatically will be linked uh, here if you if we uh, change this name it's it will be automatically uh, updated here but we don't need 10 of course and um, yeah let's name our component output correctly extra assets we can save our model all model here uh, for example folder name and dot usd and accept and save to disk we can use this expression instead instead of manually uh, we need to save our houdini project file somewhere for example c drive or d drive or desktop and etc and yeah and let's uh generate our thumbnail our asset thumbnail let's check view thumbnail camera choose good angle lock camera and generate thumbnail and press generate we can use render and viewport let's viewport it and see our asset this is the, our thumbnail delete camera and add sub layer and import all three model to back we need extra asset usd not usd c or payload we need this one and this uh, file contains all of all our layers models with materials you can see let's set it set variant and set our model it's working of course we can choose check this uh, this one and uh, turn and slide our slider copy again uh, add new asset we need flower plant uh, we need only one plant Um, I think this variant is good, but it's too big. I think it's too big. Let's scale down a little. And rename correctly. Rename our material and geometry. Let's re-import our texture, base color. We need base color, roughness, normal, and we need um, opacity mask and connect geometry and opacity. and connect here 
rename our material and rename our geometry asset and save again but until we save we explode our variants let's um, save our asset and uh, check our camera view look our camera and generate thumbnail we need thumbnail can write and this is our thumbnail delete this one expand our panel add plus new panel solaris and asset gallery and create new database for our DRC drive add our asset name extra asset import file usd and we need load thumbnail and ok and we have our unique asset and add here let's disconnect here and see our assets all our asset is here with material and everything but we need uh, uh, let's uh, ch create our variant press plus choose geometry and our asset name for example this ground and merge copy and paste and choose plant and merge together and nothing happened we because we have same uh, destination primitive path change for example 3 2 and 3 and we have correct merging system let's add instance and null and out our ground tinted for black color dive inside and add lop import we need to we need to import our ground okay and primitive we need this primitive select this primitive top one and we need unpack our polygon because it's one point okay and let's add uh, measure tool it's me measure lab tool and uh, create our measure for scattering system we can use tweaking we, we use tweaking custom tweaking parameters copy this attribute name and add to align scatter and use this um, attribute to scattering custom scattering and we have perfect mask only ground let's connect here and we have our scatter scattering planes let's tweaking some parameters for example randomize orientation angle little randomize we can also use uh, remapping tool everything is procedural And let's merge together and let's add one merge and copy and paste this asset and change name of course change asset for example this one or this one and go and add transport and merge together and let's align our asset copy and paste change name transform and merge together let's organize a little
We need camera, of course. Rename our shot cam and choose good angle, cinematic angle. And add um, our merge and light. We need direction, directional light to mimic sun. Red tint warm, warm color. And reposition it and rotate it. It's Karma XPU at the moment. Let's add one merge and create our HDRI because we need to fill our black values and import our HDRIs. This is my, my lighting setup. It's uh, quite easy. We can use Arnold Render 2. Let's add Arnold Render, activate some parameter, and uncheck auto auto generate TX and test our Arnold Render. And this is Arnold Render. It's too high value for lighting. Let's reduce a little. Okay, it's very good. It, it work uh, also Arnold and Karma same time. This is our result. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel, like video, type comment and see you soon. Thanks.